system development asp.net c sharp and sql server uh, basically this project is uh, used to book appointment of doctors so there will be admin user who will add the doctor and uh, then patient can register and select the booking a doctor and then say, uh, get the appointment and doctor can log in and check the appointment and he can uh, uh, update the status Okay, so all will be saved in the uh, database SQL server. So once you buy, you will get all these files. So first we will uh, create the database. So there is, is a script file, database script file. You can use it to create the, all the tables and the sample data. So first I will start Microsoft SQL server. So I am using SQL server 2014 Express Edition. So you can use any of SQL server whichever you have. Once a school server uh, start, you just need to connect to your server. Then you can right click and create a new database. So I'll give the database name online. So it will create one new database. Uh, so you can just check there online appointment. Okay, there will be no table is there. So I'll use script file to create. Just right click and click on new query. Then you can just copy this uh, file, just copy this path and click on file, open file. Paste and select that script file. Okay. So click on open. So it will have all the create statement and sample record also is there. So once you run this, it will get all the uh, data also. Click on exhibit. So it will create all the tables. Now you can just refresh, you will see the tables. Okay, this is the tables. Okay, so once you start your project, you need to log in and you can set the appointment. Now next part is to configure the source code. So this is the project folder. So again, you have to just copy the folder path and start your Visual Studio. So I, I am using Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition. So you can use any version whichever you have. Click on file and then open website. Just paste the, paste the folder path. Okay, so just click on open. So this is a solution explorer where you will see all the uh, files. Okay, so like this is the home page default.x space. So, so just double click. And then you just set the startup page. There is a master page is there. Okay, so and this, this is the uh, other page is there. Okay. Now suppose you want to do any change like this, so you have to change in master page, okay. So in master page you can change like you can add your name here. So it will display in that. It will display all the pages, okay. Uh, or if you want to change the color of this, so there is a CSS file there. So you can change the color of the okay? color, font, text, design and event. And to get the code you have to just like, suppose I want to, you want to change the code also. Just uh, double click here, so you will get the code. Okay. So if you want to change or you want to modify, you can modify there. Okay. So I already and then there is another change you have to do. Just double click on web.config. There is a database connection is there. Okay. So I am already giving that uh, database name is online appointment. So no need of any change. But you need to change here data source name. So it will be different in your system like SQL Express localhost. So whatever you have, you have to type here. So that you can get here. Just right click, click on properties, and there is a database name, the server name. So we just copy this. Whatever is written, like PC, your PC name or whatever, just paste there. Okay. And then you save this file. And set this is the startup page. Now everything is done. So you have to just start. So 
So first I will log in as admin and create one doctor and then I will log in as a register as a patient and get the appointment. So for admin the user ID is admin, password also admin and select the type is admin, click on login. Okay, so you can view the existing data or you can edit or view whatever. Uh, but if you want to add a new doctor, so click on new doctor, like doctor name. Doctor B. Mandel. Now doctor date. So you can just select any date if you want. Available time say 12 or 13. Email ID doctor email. ID. This is the login ID of the doctor. So I will get that keymandal at gmail.com. Also, Degree A and New doctor is added. You can view also, or you can edit also. I got to change the qualification in the years. Also, you can see. Now, you can, this is admin user, you can view the appointment also, like whatever appointment is there, you can filter is. So, you know, patient also, you can see the patient, you can add a new patient also. Now, I'll log out and I'll register as a uh, patient. So, new patient can uh, log in here or he can register first then log in. Okay, so I'll just add a new patient here. So, patient need to register first, so new patient click here. So give the name of the patient. So patient name will say Ruby K Kumar. Address a Nabirumbal Kumar City Mumbai four seven one contact number email ID. RK at gmail.com password. So once you save this detail, detail will save in the patient table, and he can by using this email ID he can log in. So I give this one a password and give patient. Now this is the patient login. Okay, so patient login name is there. First time login. So next time it will uh, see there is uh, login time also. The appointment. So, so there is a new appointment is there. So we need to click a new appointment. Okay, date. Which date you want? Suppose you want date of um, say 10 December 20 time. Uh, 15. Doctor, doctor name will be there, so he will want to be model. Patient name Ravi Kumar. Status by default will be pending. Now add. So this is uh, save the appointment. Okay. Now once doctor login, he will see this appointment, and he can change the status. Okay. So he can add multiple appointment from this screen. Okay. And also he can view his profile. He can change his profile like details, and he can change his password. So now, doctor want to log in. So doctor, we have created already B Kumar. So just B Mandal. This is his uh, login ID. Okay. So you have to type login ID, password. Login as a doctor. Now, if you go to appointment, he will see the appointment details. Okay, this one, the patient name, pending. So he can add the remarks also and he can add new appointment also doctor also add appointment on call or something so i'll just add remarks for this particular remarks
So view you can view the remarks. Now we can filter the patient also because other patient don't have any appointment. So here only one patient have the appointment. Now once admin user login, he can see all the doctors, all the appointment and everything. But doctor can see his own appointment and patient whoever is uh, added. Okay. Now doctor can add patient also. Like uh, out outdoor patient can come and patient doctor can add the patient and set the details also to keep the record. Okay, doctor can view his profile. He can change his password. Now I log in as an admin to see all the booking. Now here admin, he can see the doctors also, all the doctors, all the patients, all the appointment. Like this is the new appointment, okay. So status is the pending, okay. Now if you want to filter it, like I want to see only the B model, click on go. So it will see only this patient and also By default, you show all the data, all the appointment, like patient wise also he can filter and short way. So this is the project. Once you buy this project, you will get all the files, these files. So this is installation guide. All the steps is written there, and you can use that on this video to configure it. This is a project report. This is a synopsis. Okay.